What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J, and we've got a pretty crazy video in store for you all today. So we have been raising monarch butterflies all summer long, and when we woke up this morning, we had a couple emerge from their chrysalis, and we were excited about it. But once we inspected the enclosure that we had them all in, we discovered that one of them was injured. One of them came up with a faulty wing and it eventually broke off. If a butterfly were to lose its wing in the wild, it would be doomed to have no chance of survival. Luckily for ours, it was born in captivity, and we think that we can help it by performing a wing transplant surgery. You heard that right, guys. We're gonna perform surgery on a butterfly today in hopes that it can regain its ability to fly. But before we start the surgery, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you love to save wildlife. Let's go do it, Jay. Let's, Let's go. go save a butterfly. <laughs> All right, so here is our butterfly enclosure, and you can see this monarch up here flapping its wings. This guy has been pumping his wings up all morning, and he's ready to be released. So we got this guy up here, and we have this guy down here at the bottom. He didn't have as good a luck as the one up top. This is the one that has the broken wing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this butterfly out, we're gonna show you the damage, and we're gonna show you how we're going to fix this guy's wing. All right, little bassy, and they're bouncing around. We're gonna show you guys this butterfly and the injury he sustained, or just not really the injury he sustained, but just how he came out. Okay, so here's the monarch butterfly, and you can see the right side over here, his hind and forewing are good, but on this side, he's missing probably 60% of that forewing, wouldn't you say, Jay? Yeah. Probably 60%. So it's not very good, and it's keeping him from flying. He's able to like bounce around, but these butterflies really need symmetric wings so they can fly um, effectively. So what we have here is a butterfly collection that I made in 2013. And you can see I have a couple of monarchs on here. Um, I accidentally knocked the right wing off of this one, um, but we actually need the left wing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this left forewing off of this monarch and then I'm going to match it up to where it fits perfectly on this damaged one. We're gonna glue it together. And then if everything goes right, it should be able to flap and fly. That's the goal. So what I gotta do first, I have to mobilize this butterfly so we can effectively do the wing transplant. So I just have this hanger here. I kinda have it bent. I'm gonna lay him in the center of that and get him immobilized for now. See, that's pretty easy. That's gonna hold him down in place, and I guess we'll just do snips here to really lock him down for the time being. So I know having this butterfly pinned with this hanger doesn't look all that great, but I can assure you this is the best way that we can get this butterfly under control and effectively do the wing transplant. The butterfly was flapping around all over the place. Um, it would leave a greater chance for it to further injure itself, damage more wings. So we're not harming him at all. We just kind of have him in an uncomfortable position for the time being, but I think it'll all be worth it. So what we have to do now is we need to get the wing off of this other butterfly that I have here. And like I mentioned, this is a six year old specimen that I've had for a long time. And it's definitely coming in handy today. So I'm just gonna gently remove this wing. Should come right off. All right. Okay, so this is the wing we're going to use to fix this other guy's wing. And now since this wing is a, I'm gonna put it right here so you can kinda of see what it's gonna look like. Okay, we're gonna trim that new wing up to where it fits perfectly on that one, but um, with that being a six year old wing, it's not gonna be as sturdy and as strong as if it was a, um, a real functioning new wing. Um, it's not gonna be able to like pump fluid into it and keep it, you know, malleable, it's gonna be pretty pretty dry, but it's gonna be better than nothing. So I'm not gonna be completely removing this guy's wing and then just adding this wing. I'm going to trim off this kind of delicate, kind of jagged edge here and make it a clean cut. And then we are going to slide this wing, we're gonna cut it a little bit and slide it up underneath and then just glue them together. So I'm going to lift up this wing and just kind of get an idea of where that spot is. I just have to be very careful with this old wing because I don't want it to break. I have more if we do break it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to match up the veins. You can see the vein on the damaged wing and then the vein of the replacement. I'm just gonna try to line those up to where they fit just perfectly. And then I'm gonna make my cut. I've got the wings lined up now and you can kind of see what the finished product is gonna look like. But what I gotta do now is I really need to trim this jagged edge off. So I'm gonna make a clean cut with my scissors just right here, right across the wing. And that'll help me line this up even better. And then we're gonna go on ahead and do the super glue treatment. Here we go, nice and easy. Okay. 
Now I have a really nice clean edge to work with. Here we go, I'm gonna trim up this wing now. Pull it out just a little bit so I can make those lines meet up. Okay, we are about to begin the most tedious and probably the most important part of all this, and that is the gluing of the wing, the replacement wing, onto the old wing. So, what I've got is some super glue, and I'm just going to put it on the end of my toothpick, and then I'm going to apply the glue that's on the toothpick to the inside edge that I cut of the, old, of the new wing that I'm putting on, and I'm going to put it on top of the old wing that we are working on. But we don't need a lot of glue, so we gotta make sure that it's all on the wing and hopefully it doesn't get on the paper towel. We don't want anything to get stuck together. So let's apply a little bit of glue to this toothpick. I'm just kinda just working it on the toothpick so there's plenty on there for me to work with so I can easily apply it to the wings. Okay, I'm gonna apply the glue to this inside portion of the wing. And I'm going to apply some to the broken wing, just on the edge. Very light, very easy. Now I have to be very precise, very careful right here. All right, that looks good. That went on great. This wing is still a little bit larger. Like the butterfly that this wing came off of was a little bit larger than this one. That's why it's not matching up absolutely perfectly. But, I mean, the margins of the wing are complete and it looks good. I think it's gonna be great. And if for some reason that doesn't look like it is great, um, I have more wings, we can try this again. But this looks great. So I also have some baby powder on hand. And I'm gonna put it on this little cotton swab. And I'm just gonna put that where that glue was just to kind of dry it up. Um, just kind of seal it all in place. I'm really happy with how the gluing went. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit longer and then I'm gonna pick the butterfly up and I'm gonna kind of mash on those wings just a little bit more, make sure it's really stuck, really solid. And um, then we're gonna see how the butterfly reacts with its new wing. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am thrilled with the results of the wing transplant so far. I can tell that it's not perfectly symmetrical, but I think it's gonna be okay. It's just barely off and the butterfly should be able to fly just fine. Um, but for the time being, I'm gonna put him back in the butterfly tent for now and just let him kind of rest up from that procedure, let that glue really dry, and then we are going to take him out and see if we can release him back into the wild. So let me put him back in the tent for a second. Look at that guys, that looks so much better. I mean, it's definitely not the most beautiful monarch around, but He's definitely going to have a chance. Now you guys might be thinking that we are crazy to go through all that trouble to repair that broken wing just because it's an insect, you know, and insects typically don't have that long of a lifespan. Um, we showed you like the insect board a minute ago, like the big luna moths, big polyphenous moths. Once, once they're adults, they only live for like seven days and then they die. Um, but that's completely different with monarchs. Monarchs are pretty long lived for insects. I mean, they can live and fly for like five to six months at a time and um, they have those big seasonal migrations. I'm not sure if this butterfly has intentions to make the long trip to Mexico or not this winter, but I know for a fact that it wants to fly around and find a suitable mate and produce offspring for a future generation of monarch butterflies. And that's what our goal is, to give this butterfly a chance. Because he just came out and he hasn't even flown outside once yet. So we're gonna let him sit there for a little bit and we're gonna try to get an epic release of him here in a little bit. So that monarch butterfly that Cole just performed surgery on was actually just one of over 200 monarch butterflies that we have successfully raised and released this year. And while we're waiting on that one's wings to dry, we're going to share with you all how we were able to raise so many butterflies and why it is so important. To attract monarch butterflies and other pollinators to our house, we created a big butterfly garden full of nectar-rich flowers, including the monarch's host plant, milkweed. It didn't take long for monarchs to show up and begin laying eggs. Once we were able to locate the eggs and small caterpillars, we would collect them and bring them indoors for rearing. It is important to bring the larvae in while they are young because it keeps them safe from outdoor predators such as wasps, stink bugs, and tachnid flies which parasitize the larva. Inside the enclosure, they will remain caterpillars for 10 to 14 days. We provide them with fresh milkweed daily as they develop into larger caterpillars. When the caterpillars reach their max size and final instar, they spin up a silky anchor point, hang upside down in a J shape, and form a chrysalis. Another 10 to 14 days later, the monarch completes metamorphosis and emerges from its chrysalis as an adult butterfly. We give the adults time to pump their wings, and when they are ready to go, we safely release them back into the wild. Monarch 
butterflies are a threatened species due to habitat destruction across their range. Planting milkweed and raising them indoors greatly increases the survival rate of the caterpillar to adulthood, which is critical for the future of the species. The time is finally here guys, the moment where we figure out if the surgery was a success. I have big hopes for this butterfly and I hope that it does fly. Okay, are you ready for the release? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Here we go, buddy. <gasps> oh, there he goes! He's flying, he's flying great! Oh my gosh! It's a success, did you see that? Yes! That was awesome. I don't know, I don't know how well they were able to see that, but. He's gone. He's, yeah. He flew to the top of the tree up there and he's sitting in the tree. Wow! Heck Good yeah. job. Give me yes. some, give me some guys. <laughs> that was awesome. That butterfly took off like a champ. I don't think he knew what to do at first, but he just, he's gone. That's so exciting. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah! We got him. Yes. Yes! Yes, good job. That's awesome. That's so rewarding. Okay, <laughs> we have a couple more butterflies we gotta release. So let's get them and release them really fast. And uh, we'll wrap up today's episode. Here are the last two butterflies we have to release today, a couple of big males. So we're gonna send them on their way and see where they go. Man, we are so excited to have been able to repair that butterfly's broken wing today and see it fly off on its own. Like, that is really awesome. And we hope you guys enjoyed learning how we raise all these butterflies this year. If you thought today's video was awesome, be sure to hit the like button for us. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any of our other future outdoor adventures. We're, We're Colin and Jane. And until next time, have a happy and wild life, and we will see you on the next video.